During the debate, the Vice President described Trump's proposed tariffs as a sales tax on middle class families. Today, the Biden administration announced new tariffs on about $18 billion worth of Chinese goods that will go into effect in two weeks. So can you talk about whether these new tariffs are fundamentally different from what Trump has proposed and how? So the 301 tariff, the tariffs. So look, we made an announcement uh, this morning, as you just, uh, that went out early this morning. And I think uh, the president, when he, back in May, uh, when he was announcing that he was going to take action, uh, he said very clearly he was going to do that to protect Americans, uh, workers, and businesses from China's unfair trade uh, practices. And that's something, a commitment that he made and he spoke to back in, in May. And the comparison, as you're asking me, uh, the Trump administration, the last administration, uh, their trade deal with China failed to increase, uh, boost American manufacturing, uh, and what the president's economic agenda, what we've been trying to do for almost four years now, and we've seen some results here, uh, is nearly $1 trillion of new investments here in America. Manufacturing investment has hit record highs. As, as it goes to the specifics of it, obviously USTR will have more uh, information on that, uh, but the president the president made a commitment. He's keeping to his commitment, and if you can see what his economic agenda has actually done, manufacturing businesses, uh, and how that um, how that lines up uh, with China and what China what it, what China has uh, how his how his agenda has affected uh, uh, China's um, behavior, uh, and I think that matters. I'm sorry, I should have been more clear. Yeah. How is it not a sales tax on all the goods that? people buy every day. Look, what we're trying to do is making sure that we're protecting American workers and businesses. That's what we're doing. USTR can certainly get into more details and specifics uh, to your question, but our you know, our commitment, and I think it shows in the president's economic uh, policy, as I just laid out, and what, how, uh, how the annual trade deficit with China is the lowest, is the lowest in a decade, lower than any year during the last administration. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is eliminate China's unfair practices, and we've seen the results of that. That was the commitment that this president made in May, and that's the commitment that will continue. And this is about American workers and businesses, and we're going to certainly continue to deal with China's unfair trade practices, and that's what you're seeing.